nature always hides the harsh and dangerous things, especially for the weak and the defenseless animals like an impala. As it is even more harsh and dangerous. As here is a compilation of seven moments when the impala was faced with the most desperate situations. So follow us. The Impala Seven Desperate Moments. The Impala is a medium-sized antelope native to Africa, as they are considered as an ideal prey for the other carnivores, such as leopards, lions, hyenas, and many more. And by their gentle nature, so the Impala is always hunted by these animals and often faces life-threatening situations as the impala is entangled in an intense pursuit by the African wild dogs. And seemingly, without much time to think, the impala had plunged straight into the nearby river and swam out into the middle of it. As the wild dogs, of course, couldn't be chased anymore, as they sat on the shore and opened their eyes to the impala that they had to let go. Nearly escaped from the clutches of the wild dogs, the impala is not expected this to be the territory of the crocodiles and hippo, as the hippo slowly emerges from the water, and a hippo swims up and bites the small animal, trying to escape. As struggling with all its might, the impala swam out of the hippo's zone and back ashore, where the wild dogs were waiting, as a chase had ensued forcing the impala back into the water again. In this second swim, waiting for the impala to come out, there is also a crocodile, as it attacks the impala. But the animal was so determined not to give up, as it escaped from the predator's mouth just a second time and swam shivering into another body of water as the hippo swam surrounded with just a few bites the impala had died in the middle of the rough waters and since the green forest is a home to many animals the chases of the two predators targeting the same target are not uncommon as this impala is being gripped from the head to the toe by a python. And obviously, with such a situation, the impala would have no chance of escaping. And right in front of the impala was a hyena, as it is not clear which animal, the python or the hyena, had targeted the impala first. But the hyena did not leave because of that. As it observed the situation, and sometimes even nibbled on the ears of the little Impala, who was still struggling. And finally, under the pressure of the python, the Impala had stopped breathing, as the Ahina still did not leave, but stood there, trying to pull the Impala out of the python's mouth. And realizing that he shouldn't try to compete with the Ahina for prey, the python had relaxed its body and slithered away. So only the Ahina was left with a meal that would contain without much effort. And since many carnivals live together in the same forest, it is easy for the quest to turn into melee fights, as the hungry leopard was on the way to carry the impala back up the tree where his food was kept. And before reaching the lair, it was ambushed by a pack of wild dogs and with no other choice, it had to release the impala and run away to find a new prey for itself. As the impala quickly got up and tried to run away, but a series of dogs at the same time had rushed to bite the poor animal until it was completely dead. And before they could celebrate the spoils, the Ahimas ran from nowhere. Less than a moment, the Ahinas had captured the prey of the wild dogs, and based on their numbers, they rushed to reclaim their meal. As the Ahinas had struggled to hold onto their prey, 
while one held to bait and the others had chased it away. And the wild dogs got very tired as they leave and the hyenas are free to enjoy the delicious impala meat. Every animal in danger shows a strong instinct to resist, as Nepala is no exception, as this male Nepala has made it difficult for the wild dogs and the hyenas to use their long horns to defend themselves. And initially, the pack of wild dogs had tried to surround the Nepala to find a way to attack. However, the nature of this species is much more timid than that of the hyenas of the same family. So even though they are outnumbered, they are still unable to attack the Impala. And until the hyenas had joined the fight, the situation was not much better. And every time there was an attacker, the Impala had raised its long and sharp horns in front. And I thought the carnivals would be empty-handed until one of the hyenas had bit the Impala's tail again and locked at both ends as the hyenas had fought to bite each other and the Impala was quickly killed. What do you call a strong will to live? Is it the determination not to back down in the face of danger? As we have a more vivid example for this question, but we're not sure that the following scenes would be appropriate for younger children. As it is an image of an Impala, despite being constantly bitten by a hyena, still using its legs to try and move forward to escape the hyena. As it wouldn't be a big deal if we didn't see now that the lower half of the Impala's body has been eaten by a hyena in a larger chunk. And even more terrifying, the intestines of the Impala even spilled out as the Impala must have felt a lot of pain. But this lust for life had kept him on his feet despite the lack of hope. And even though the Ahina had continued to bite, dangers are always lurking around us, especially in nature. As sometimes when we think we have escaped the clutches of death, we encounter something much more terrifying. The Impala was swimming in the middle of the water and probably due to some compulsive circumstances that it made it do so, as swimming right behind it was a ferocious crocodile, and it was evident that the Impala was attacked. As it struggled with all of its might and finally swam to the shore with its body shaking from pain, and I thought I had escaped death, but when I got ashore, standing right in front was an African wild dog. As this dog had hunted in packs, so after a while, many other dogs also ran to each other to bite the poor Impala. And with no resistance left, the Impala fell and let himself be carried away by the god of death. Another example is that this Impala is trying to run away from the scary crocodile. But both animals had struggled at the edge of the lake, and the crocodile repeatedly bit into the Impala's legs and dragged it into the water while the Impala used his front legs to try to climb to the shore. As this tug of war went on for a very long time and was very fierce when neither side was willing to give in to the other. As on one hand the crocodile is hungry and on the other the Impala is also in danger of becoming a meal. And after a while the Impala was able to run ashore, as it just calmly walked in, when suddenly a leopard was already lying down and it jumped out and grabbed the Impala. As the African savanna always makes it difficult for any species, even a dominant species like a lion or a leopard, as herbivores like Impalas have to deal with the ghost of death every single day. As they do not know when they first stepped on the door of death, until the danger strikes. And that is when I found that surviving in the wilderness without any strength in it was a huge challenge. As today's video comes to an end, thank you all so much for watching our videos and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and share this video. Goodbye and see you in the next video.